Moses Lake for the weekend. We don't have the flyboard this weekend because the jet ski took a shit. Oh well, still a good time. Uh, the Ronin S is absolutely amazing. Love that thing to death so far. Last night, me and my wife went on an adventure to see some good friends over in Banks Lake and we stayed up till like one in the morning taking night shots. I'm not the best night photographer, but I would love to be. So practice makes perfect. These shots turned out sweet. When I get home, I'll show you guys what I did, how I did it to like obtain these photos. It should be a good time. But uh, yeah, for now, let's enjoy the weekend. What's up dudes? Such a good song. Felt like that song fit perfectly for the weekend just because it's saying summer is over. Yeah, that's super sad. But let's get on to the video. So the picture that I got when we went out on our cool little adventure with my wife at like one in the morning to get the Milky Way, or try to, this is what I ended up getting right here. Pretty cool little shot. I didn't, I'm not gonna go into like editing and, cause I am, it took me a long time to edit that. And it'd be really hard to kind of try to teach you guys, especially when I'm in the process of learning how to do a lot of masking and stuff for certain shots with the stars. Eventually we'll get into something like that. I wanted to talk about like what I did for setup and how I got multiple photos that I did. Super easy, all I did was, and I'm gonna hop on my phone right now just to show you guys. I have a little folder with all my camera stuff in here. Two main apps that I used for this specific process and getting the Milky Way. It's called Light Pollution on Android, and I'll link this down in the description below. Light Pollution is amazing, and it helped me a ton because where I'm always at, there is a shitload of light pollution from like Seattle, Everett, just my area alone. So when I went to Eastern Washington, I was like, I'm gonna shoot the stars because there's not a whole lot of light pollution here. So I downloaded this app. It'll pinpoint where you're at, obviously, with your location on your phone. It'll show you all the light pollution and it gives you a little key over here that shows you dark to extremely light. Where you wanna sit technically is in the blue and that's where you wanna shoot. And then my other app that I use to get the Milky Way with this one is called Stellari Stellarium? 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 Stellarium. I have no idea what it's, I think that's what it's called. Let's just go with that. I'm terrible with pronouncing things. With this app, you can see where the Milky Way is going to be at, at a certain time frame. You can use your location, which it does automatically for you, and then it'll show you where it's gonna be at a certain time. So down in this bottom right-hand corner, you can press play or fast forward to a certain time and it'll show you where the Milky Way will be at. It's super handy. And then with that, you use, I actually use another app with that as well, because I downloaded a compass app just to see where I was at, where south and north was at, because that's kind of where the Milky Way is running over, is south to north currently. So I opened up my compass app, and that kind of gave me an idea of where to shoot. Then I took a few test shots just to kind of pinpoint and get my like right composition that I wanted for that, and uh, yeah what I ended up getting. We'll go into a more in-depth video about shooting the stars, or editing, I guess I should say, and maybe taking you through the whole process. I was going to, I just forgot my camera. I usually never do, but I forgot my camera when I went to go shoot the stars, my video camera that I use, obviously. Next time, next time we go and shoot the stars, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a whole process video of what I'm doing, and I'll bring a light and stuff so you can see what I'm doing. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. If those tips and tricks slash apps helped you in any way, hit that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it. Or hit the thumbs down button, that's cool too. And subscribe to the channel, and I will love you forever.
I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.